Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Sunday, Sunday night out here, about 6 p.m. California time, October 20th, 2024. We got a swarm of activity here just off the coast of Southern California ramping up in the last couple hours. The latest quake, the larger of the three out here with a 3.6 earthquake coming in. Prior to that, 2.5 and a 3.1 earthquake off the coast here of Oceanside. Um, it's on, it almost looks like it's on the Santa Cruz, Santa uh, Catalina Ridge Fault Zone or potentially off of the San Diego Trough. I'm guessing it's going to be uh, this one right here due to the shallowness of that earthquake activity. Now, far as this specific fault system goes, it is a right lateral strike slip, uh, potentially with some right reverse in there as well. Southern California in general is just a mixed bag of spider web fault systems all over the place. Uh, this area about 60 kilometers in length, as far as the seismically active portion. Uh, most recent surface rupture is somewhat recent, otherwise some uh, later, uh, earlier activity, I should say. No specific date on when the last one was. Um, the intervals between major ruptures here is uncertain. Probable magnitudes out there in the Pacific in this fault system, a 6.5 to a 7.3 potentially. Now, unknown slip rate as well. So that doesn't really help us out a lot in terms of predicting, you know, future earthquakes and uh, maybe how long ago the last one was. Uh, and that is for the Santa Catalina Ridge Fault Zone. And now the San Diego Trough area uh, has a slip rate of about a 1.5 mm per year. Recent surface rupture, but no date. Uh, length is about 150 kilometers deep here with a right lateral type uh, faulting. And again, uh, it's a uh, off the shore a little bit here. We've noticed uh, a handful of earthquakes out across Southern California today. We've got a couple different regions here we're keeping an eye on. Of course, in Southern California, the entirety needs to be watched out here. Over the past two to three months, we've seen elevated seismicity out here across not only one region, but various regions. And we're starting to get new areas filling in, such as this one out here. Uh, just near the Gulf of the uh, Santa Catalina area. Again, just off of the Santa Cruz fault system there. That's one area right now. Also, if you look down here across Southern California, along the San Andreas Fault, getting some earthquakes here in the last hour, lighting up uh, some movement down here off of the San Andreas Fault here uh, earlier near the sim similar area. Some ones and even a couple twos in there as well. Now we got a little separate swarm up here on the creeping segment yeah it looks like it's just right around the creeping section here of the san andreas fault with uh, a few earthquakes here in the last hour um a couple twos there 2.5 and a 2.6 latest a 1.8 so things are popping up out here across southern california with an increasing uh, chance here of you know maybe seeing something bigger out here uh, I, I completely feel that when things are elevated that's the time that we need to be on guard it is sunday evening out here Maybe folks starting to wind down from a busy weekend, uh, getting ready for the work week upon us tomorrow. Uh, just be on guard. Even Northern California up here lighting up. This is the northern end of the plate boundary, right? Right off the coast here, Northern California with the 2.2 coming in. All along the lines of the same time of these earthquakes all across the west coast here in California. So the whole plate out here is moving. And uh, we got to be on guard out here. A little swarm of activity on the San Jacinto Fault Zone. A one earthquake here from this morning, right smack dab on the southern segment here of the San Andreas Fault Zone near Desert Hot Springs for a 2.4 today. So things are definitely ramping up out here, folks. You need to be on guard as uh, things are looking quite active. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, deeper activity over here across the Tonga Trench still. Um, majority of these are well deep. The latest one, a 5.0 near the Vanuatu area. And if you look at the swarm of activity down here, no surface adjustment going on, all deeper activity. You're talking about hundreds of miles there into the uh, portion. Well, it looks like it's in between Kermadec Trench and the Tonga Trench here. Either way, a major subduction zone out here with no surface adjustment. So I, I guarantee you that's gonna kick up here soon. Uh, some newer activity down here across the South America area as well. Looks like a 5.7 coming in here. Uh, just a short time ago, 66 miles deep underneath the Argentina area here into the Prue Chile Trench. So things are 
getting ready to uh looks like they're getting ready to get put into motion out here pacific plate is uh very active uh, so we'll watch that um northern california there's that little earthquake there in northern california being picked up on petrolia quite nicely here that's going to be this earthquake right up here 2.2 just a short time ago let's check out um well washington's got a little bit of activity up here as well looks like around mount rainier mount adams mount uh Shat or helen's there <laughs> pretty quiet We've still seen some swarming out there around that swarming area where we've had a couple hundred earthquakes here in the last 30 days with really no cause for it. I mean, I'm sure it's stress related, but uh, there's no, there's been no big quake, no, uh, no uh, volcanic eruption, just a swarm of earthquakes out there. A couple earthquakes here in the uh, Nile, Washington area as well, 2.3 and a 1.4. Uh, aside from that, folks, um, pretty busy in these specific locations here. Opposite ends here of the plate boundary. California definitely on the move right now. So we'll keep an eye on that. Um, the trough zone down here is a fairly lengthy fault. And I'm sure that's capable of producing a, a mid-7, if not higher. Uh, there's numerous fault systems out here that are, um, I'm sure, well overdue for some large earthquake activity. And, of course, the longer, the lengthier the fault system, the higher likelihood of seeing something bigger on it due to the... Uh, you know, the accumulated stress that can build up on a lengthy fault system. And again, I, I'm not 100% certain if that's on the San Diego trough or maybe just off of it. Uh, there may even be a couple more fault systems out here that's not being shown on the USGS map. But still, we got ourselves a little bit of interesting activity occurring out here across Southern California and in the entirety here of the plate boundary from north to south. It looks like it is kind of working its way up north a little bit with some uh, adjustment going on. This is the latest quake up here uh, following all this movement down south here. But don't let your guard down, folks. We need to be on guard. Stay safe. Uh, real quick glance at the space weather activity here. Uh, fairly neutral in terms of anything uh, flaring. Got some consistent sea flare activity, but that's common on any given day. No major flares to report. No major auroras in the forecast here for now, folks. We're waiting the arrival of... A couple different sunspots here on the eastern limb. Look at that. Quite active out there. Just barely getting a glimpse of some of the magnetic complexity there from a group of sunspots that was out here a couple weeks back on the earth-facing side of the sun. Now, took a full trip around the sun, and they're coming back into the earth-directed view here on the eastern limb. It looks pretty active. Once those get into view here, we'll have a little bit better perspective of what maybe they're uh, capable of providing out there in terms of flaring. Uh, no major roars. Flare threat dropped. That's just due to uh, the activity right now, but that's subject to change here as soon as these other sunspots come around the bin. Pretty quiet out here on the earth-facing side for now. Uh, seismograph stations out there. Again, there's that little earthquake in Petrolia. Keep an eye on the west coast. We are starting to move out there, so have a good Sunday night. We'll catch you guys out here in the morning for the Monday morning update. Have fun, everyone.